I found out that I carried the genetic mutation BRCA2 at the age of 21. It was very hard emotionally, mentally, and physically. When I first learned about my genetic test results, I was actually kind of in denial. When I found out about my genetic risk, I was very overwhelmed. I got the information in the car and I immediately broke down in tears because all I could see was cancer. I was 22 years old. My aunt passed of breast cancer and it sent me into this frenzy of just wanting to know where I stood. When I learned about being positive for BRCA1, I was in the middle of a very intense process of getting diagnosed with breast cancer. So when I learned about my genetic risk, I was very scared and also overwhelmed because I was already dealing with a breast cancer diagnosis. And on top of that, you're telling me I'm also positive for the BRCA1 gene, which comes with its own risks. It was very important for me to be able to share this information with my family because there are a lot of girls and boys in my family. I have lots of cousins, nieces and nephews. And I just felt like it was my responsibility to be able to share the information for them to act upon it if they wish. When I met with my genetic counselor, we did a very thorough family tree exercise. And in that conversation, it was discussed how this is the, the family or the portion of the family tree that, you know, we would consider at risk for having the BRCA1 mutation. It was clear that that side of the family and that whole family needed to be aware of the results. My sister-in-law was with me when I received the news and she also spoke to me about the importance of sharing this with my family members and really everyone, everyone I come across. I was advised to speak with my family about the BRCA2 mutation and advise everyone to get genetic testing. Talking about genetic mutations and risks are so imperative in our community. I was really fueled by knowing that I might be the only person that could advocate for my friends and family. And I knew I had a twin sister. I knew if I was at risk, it's probably a high risk that she's at risk too. And so that's what led me to have these conversations with my family, to get them to just have the conversation with their providers and to get questions answered so they knew where they stood.